here's a question that was sent to me the individual wanted to know if they could modify the roof so they could create a larger storage area and this is a question I receive quite often now this is a particular design so that's why I thought it would be a good video and um, they're actually using two by six that butt together they do not lap and these they're butt together and then they have a one by six nail to the side this might be fine for providing side to side movement or reducing it you you have a member you've attached it you butt it together and then you um, fasten them together with another board and this right here will provide you with a nice connection for side to side it's not going to provide you with a very good connection for up and down is something you would need for storage so that's not going to be a good a good idea it's not going to be not would be better if this was a solid member with no break in it at all solid member and even larger now let's take a look at the braces the braces might be doing something I say might for this particular design I'm not convinced that it's doing much now I believe the design that was emailed to me actually had a brace coming up off of here and uh, kind of looked like a truss and I can see where people think that, uh, hey, this is a truss, you know, this is a, this is designed this way and it's, um, it's providing us with a lot of extra support, but that might not be the case. So uh, just keep that in mind. So if you have something like this, the way I'm looking at it here is this board right here. Uh, and the one that would be coming up here like he had on the other one, or, or even if it doesn't have it on there. It's basically holding the garage tie. It's basically holding it up and preventing it from sagging. It's not uncommon to see something like that. So could you actually remove them and put a, a vertical brace, something that goes up and down, and then use this area for storage or the side of it to, for storage instead of having an angle that would be difficult to store things on? Well. I think that, uh, and again, remember, I'm not an engineer. It's just an, an opinion here. I think this would actually be better if you had this design. Because like I said before, the sloping or the angled brace could actually move. Now, if you have an angled brace and then another one coming up, I don't think it's going to be the same. But if you just had one angled brace, then uh, it could actually move easier than it would if you had a vertical brace so the weight let's just say on if you put a load on this member here with an angled brace I would imagine it could move a little easier but if you have a vertical brace I don't think it's going to move very much so there is a close-up of that and again these are just suggestions they are not going to uh, I don't guarantee that they're going to work um, at all how's that Here's something that might work a little better, and that would be to install a continuous piece of lumber across the length of it with no break in it. And you could always attach it to the existing garage ties. Um, or you could remove the garage ties and shove them up against the roof rafter to replace them with a solid, solid member. The only problem I have with something like this is the notch here. You're only allowed to notch one quarter the distance, I believe, out of the end. So if this was an eight inch board, you'd only be allowed to take two inches out of it. And you can see where something like this is. This is probably four inches and this is a two by ten to scale. So um, I hate to say it, but that's almost five inches. Something like this might not work. You might need to find an ulterior or a, a different method. And so you could remove this, nail it, up, nail it up against the rafter. I don't know if this is going to provide you with um, the supports you need because I, I don't know much about nailing a joist, something like this, up against a rafter if you're actually going to be able to use this as a um, support, something to help with the support and give you a little more strength taking removing this much lumber out of it and the reason why I say that is I have came across jobs where they've allowed me to cut um, big chunks out like this out of a structural member a large beam for example 
and uh, they were fine with it. Uh, I didn't know why they allowed me to do it, but uh, they did. So how much uh, of a difference this would make, um, I really don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at where it butts. Um, here's the new joist, like a 2x10, 2x6 here. You would simply nail the 2x6 to the new framing member or remove them. And again, you might want to actually just remove them in a case like this if it's not going to be too much trouble. Here's the other end of the design. And you could always, after this is done, nail a vertical brace. And if you're looking for a little more strength, this might do it. Something like this with a full member might uh, create, uh, provide the roof rafters with some additional strength also. That's it for that view there. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. The, again, ceiling joist or, I mean, floor joist, something like this is going to be better. But these aren't easy to install. Easy to install when there's no roofing or roof um, plywood uh, sheathing on top, but uh, putting them in here. And I think I do have other videos on that. You will need to go to the to the website in the design area. You might want to check out the engineering link and the building tab. Check out the framing link and on the remodeling tab, I believe it is. Check out the garage um, link or the garage. Yeah, the garage link in the remodeling tab. That, that Those tabs are at the top of almost every page on the website. I think they are on the top of every single page on the website if you're looking for a little more information. If uh, this didn't answer your question, feel free to email me any questions or leave them in the comment area. And uh, it's nice to leave them in the comment area because other people can see them also who usually have the same question as you do. So uh, comment area is probably going to work better.